I think that the referees uh, and the league uh, and, and DC United working with us did a fantastic job in managing it. You know, it's never easy. You're at a stadium, you're playing, the weather comes in, there's fans here, there's TV and everything. So I think it was handled very well. Unfortunate, um, you know, that you, you, you never want to stop the game and then play the next night. Uh, but I think that my guys showed tremendous character in not letting it affect them being in a hotel an extra night. You know, the food that we had today was quality, but it wasn't the same that we usually have because it was scrambling the last second to get stuff up. And, and they, didn't, they didn't let that affect them and they didn't uh, make excuses. Mentality from the players. I, I, listen, I, I said it all along. I can't take a t many of the, much of the credit at all, you know? It's my job as a coach and a leader to say, this is what I want you to do. This is how I want you to do it. But it all comes down to the players. If they're willing to take that, they're willing to sacrifice and, and, and do the things we're asking for them, it's on them. And, and they've done a fantastic job. I think the mentality has really changed. And I, presumably your last trip to RFK Stadium, yeah. uh, and a little bit of a memorable one. What's, uh, what yeah. are some of your memories from here as player? And oh, coach? man. Uh, won a championship here. Um, greatest feeling that I had while I was here was watching Barra Brava and the rest of the supporters on the, on the stands that had the uh, hydraulics on it and just jumping up and down and the whole, the whole stands moving and how loud they were. Um, and the great guys that I played with, this is to me one of, if not the best organization uh, in the league's history with the amount that they've won along with LA, teams like that. Um, and, and I'm glad that they're moving into something so it's gonna be beautiful, I think. But to me, this is always gonna be DC United. And I think you mentioned it before, but how important and how happy are you for a guy like Silva to, oh. to get his goal here, and especially against DC United? Yeah, I'm extremely happy for him. And the biggest reason is because he does so much for us that I think perhaps goes unseen and unsung. He's an unsung hero, uh, you know, to the, I guess you could say, the untrained soccer eye, perhaps you could say it that way. Uh, and he was frustrated that he hasn't been scoring a lot. But we didn't put him up there to be a main goal scorer. We hoped he would be, but he's not a true forward. Uh, but his combination play allows other people to get into goal, and, and it opens things up. But for him to get the goal, you could see how happy he was, and, and we were thrilled for him, too. And is there any frustration, a little bit if you look at it critically, that it took the 24 hours to, to kind of get those shots off? Well, no. Listen, our game plan coming in here, we, with all the scouting we did for DC, we knew the first at least 15 minutes they were going to be buzzing, they were going to be all over us at high pressuring. They did that against Toronto last week and the previous games as well at, at home. So we knew the beginning of the game we had to manage and we had to perhaps sit back a little more. And we knew once the end of the half to the second half, it would open up. Uh, and, and, and it happened that way. And I think the guys, you know, at, towards the end did, did a fantastic job. And for a club, how important is it to kind of knock off that daunting stat of never having <laughs> won in a place, especially the last time, presumably, Real Salt Lake's coming in? Perhaps in the off season when I'm sitting down, I'll say, oh, that was pretty cool. But right now it's three points. Three points are the coolest. That's all it is. Okay. What were the last 24 hours like for this club? Well, I had all my people up from New Jersey because it's not far. So for me, it was fun. It was great. I was hanging out with, with, with my closest friends. Uh, but from a team standpoint, we managed it as well as we could. I think we did a good job. And we didn't want it to be a mentality block for them going into this game. And they didn't, to their credit. You know, We said the right things, got them enough rest, got them the right food, did another re, uh, re did a pregame uh, pre meeting today and touched on the first 28 minutes from yesterday and gave them enough information. And, and they took it and they ran with it. You start that game on a, on a defensive corner kick. Uh, I mean, you guys have to be on it from the, from the opening yeah. kick there. We talked a lot about that uh, right after the game, all morning, afternoon, pregame, right before we went out, we talked about it. We, we got these guys in the best positions we could, and you know, we were sure they were going to pull something a little different, which they did. They, I think they stocked seven or eight players in the box for that corner kick uh, to try to cause a little uh, confusion, and our guys did well with it. Last thing, what kind of things do you guys do to look, look ahead now to Montreal? Uh, first, get on the plane tonight right away and, and get back uh, and rest, and then we'll, we'll start thinking about that on the plane ride back with the coaches. And it's about rest right now, and it's about uh, you know, focusing on a very good uh, team that we're going to face in Montreal.